Simpro has just received an update to haptic features with five new features added to the current functionality pool. So let's take a look on the new functions as well as how to adjust them. First of all, the UI has been updated. We see aside from the feedback for TC, ABS and clutch that we had, there are five new feedback options including wheel lock, wheel slip, RPM feedback, gear shift and speed. For wheel lock, the haptic activates where there are any types of lockup caused by braking. For the adjustment parameters, apart from the strength and frequency, we also have the sensitivity meter. Higher the sensitivity level, less lockups will require to activate feedback. Wheel slip activates the haptics when the rear tire slides reach a certain threshold. The parameters are the same as wheel lock. Higher the sensitivity, the less slip is required to activate the haptics. RPM feedback will linearly increase the haptics vibration depending on the engine RPM. Apart from the strength settings, we have the RPM trigger range and frequency increase. For RPM trigger range, it depends on what RPM range will trigger the haptics and the frequency increase decides the lowest and the highest vibration rate. Gear shift will activate the haptics when the gear shift happens. Same as the other parameters, strength and frequency settings are standard. Aside from that, you can also adjust the vibration duration, which is very self-explanatory. The last of the new parameters is speed, which gives linearly increasing haptic feedback in a certain speed range. Aside from frequency, you can also adjust the vehicle speed trigger range and vibration intensity linear adjustment. For vehicle speed trigger range, it controls in what speed will the haptics trigger. As for the very complicated sounding vibration intensity linear adjustment, the haptics will gradually increase its strength as the speed climbs, and this controls how strong the feedback will be at different speeds. So that's all the new features for the haptic motors. Which is your favourite feature in this update, and what other features would you like to see in the future? Let us know in the comment section below. But until then, keep racing, Sim Magicians.